Hey, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Uh, today we will show you how to share a resource calendar externally. So this could be useful when you go through a merger or an acquisition. So here on the right hand side, I have created a calendar resource called TARDIS. So when you create a resource, uh, it gets uh, created with a uh, resource email, which ends in resource.calendar.google.com, meaning that it's an email address that's unable to receive email since you do not uh, manage this domain. So I'll just copy this resource uh, calendar email address here and switch over to this calendar API documentation. So when you share a calendar, you have a few options. So you can share the calendar with free busy reader, meaning that they can only look up the look up the availability of the calendar. You can also give users reader access, meaning that they can see the events, event details of the calendar. Writer means that they can write to this calendar directly without inviting this uh, calendar as a guest. Owner means that they will have also the ability to manage the permissions of this calendar. So when you share a calendar, you can also share it with a user, a group, a domain, or default, which is the public sharing of the calendar. So that being said, we'll switch over to this Cloud Shell where I have GAM installed. So I am running this GAM command as a super admin. So super admins have access to manage all the calendars on the domain. So it starts with GAM calendar followed by the resource ID and we are creating an ACL, meaning that access control list is being updated or created. So we are giving a domain, uh, brandkim.ca, which is my domain, the free busy reader information. So on the left-hand side, I have already um, subscribed to this calendar, uh, which uh, I just created. So you can see that the event detail for the event that I created at noon tomorrow, uh, I can see that uh, I can look at BZ information. Um, and the green blue one is my personal calendar. So I'll just create another event here, call it test two. And I'll just invite that resource as a, a guest. So one thing, another thing that I've done here is I have created um, the meeting room as a contact. So you can have your users do it uh, individually, or you can use the domain shared context API, which we looked at in one of our previous videos on bypassing display name spoofing protection setting for Gmail. So you can use that to create external context in your directory. So switching over to calendar here, so I'll just add it as a guest. So even though I have added that email as a guest, now you see that the room shows up at the bottom with the resource calendar email address. So I'll just save it, save it here. So I'll just click invite all guests and open this calendar again. And now you see that the resource shows up correctly. And you see that the free busy information has also updated for the orange calendar here, which is the resource calendar. So switching over to the workspace admins calendar here. So I have also subscribed to this calendar by uh, browsing uh, resources. So you can see that I can see the event details because I am a super admin. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us comments on what you think. Thanks, have a nice day.